we are not aware of his arrest, Kenyan Interior Ministry. Kenya's Interior Ministry said it was a it was unaware that Tinam the Ipob leader was arrested in the country, as Nigerian government also refused to confirm reports linking Kenya. Ruta said a spoke a spokeswoman for the Kenyan Interior Ministry said he was unaware um, of the matter, although the country's foreign affairs ministry in Nairobi snubbed media inquiries, Kenya's The Star newspaper had further shed light on Kanu's arrest in the country. According to the paper, Kanu had apparently arrived in Kenya when he was stopped at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport on the 26th of June. He was handed over to Nigeria the following day. He was headed for his house in Kileshwa when authorities stopped him from questioning. Um, he was settled in Nairobi, was but was coming from Gen- Germany via Israel. We will hold Kenyan and Nigerian government responsible for whatever for whatever may happen to my brother. We do not know why they did this to him. It is an incident of extraordinary rendition," said Kingsley Kanu. But the thing is, what we also need to confirm, I actually not even confirm, I think when Omokri said that he was, that Enamde Kanu was extradited from Kenya. But if the Nigerian government have not said anything, I mean, who else can we even ask? That's, that's the whole question. Like, there's so many, you know, um, loopholes or just, how I say it, just random, things are just not adding up. That's ba- basically, things are not adding up. And, um, yeah like what did where where was he taking from where was he taking from that is the real question my thing right now i just we need to focus on the fact that the country does not have any right to pass any judgment at all even if let's say a fly hit somebody or something like these people have committed heinous crimes against nigerians since birth so since the birth of every nigerian that is already enough atrocities that has been committed by the nigerian government against its citizens so yeah i don't understand where they feel they have a right but honestly with the way things are they themselves they are the law they make the law they make the rules and that that's what follows other officials say they knew kanu was to stay in nairobi for some time then he was detained over an immigration issue he had arrived in kenya using a british passport said the security official who asked not to be named. He was later flown to Nigeria the following day. This was after the Nigerian officials in Nairobi confirmed he was wanted back home. Yeah, on Thursday, Information Minister Lai Mohammed declined to disclose any details on the rearrest of Kanu despite the vague speculation over which country was involved in his capture after he went on the run four years ago. Kanu had skipped, he did not, okay, we're not reading that. He was believed to be in London until he was brought to court in handcuffs in Abuja on Thursday. The rearrest was made possible by diligent efforts of our security and intelligence agencies in collaboration with countries which we have obligations. Information Minister Laya Mohammed told reporters, we continue to respect and honour the obligations, he said, giving no further details. The circumstances of Kanu's arrest um, have been have been the subject of intense media speculation in Nigeria, where reports have named the United Kingdom, Brazil, Czech Republic, and Israel as countries where Kanu may have been in recent times. The UK said Kanu was not arrested in the country and added it to take up his matter with the authorities. Kanu is also a UK citizen. IPOP said Kanu was abducted and it would be and it would give details later. Lai Mohammed said Kanu was facing eleven counts including treason, terrorism, illegal possession of firearms and others. His case is to resume in court on the twenty sixth of July uh to the twenty seventh of July. So until then he's second to be in their custody. I mean Oh, I mean, it's so scary to think what they're doing to him right now because this is a lot. But at least we know he's in their custody. And if anything should happen to an Abrikanu, like, the government is done for because, I don't know. And I think what's even more, 
so suspicious is that um Biafran friends have not really done anything i mean something like this you'd expect that there'd be a whole wave of protests and all that um, but nothing has been done yet i Biafran friends have not properly reacted um and it's a bit it's a bit surprising because i'm like hmm, you'd expect that okay fine these people would be on you know on smoke for in Abricano. so yeah um you are a useless country just like nigeria <laughs> they took it <laughs> can't wait, please okay cool um you are a useless country just like nigeria they took a whole human being out of you and you were not aware okay cool let's let's not let's not bash countries um they did it because of 100 million pledged by the zoo um i mean yeah that was actually true they actually there was a 100 million air bounty and someone says kenya is not a safe place to go betrayers everywhere please take note um okay um someone says shame to kenya government again can we actually confirm that you know he was taken from he was taken from kenya i mean i don't know i'm not really quick to believe that yet because okay fine we know the government is capable of doing all this but i'm like what kind of intelligence did they have like i'm so sorry because i'm thinking the 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 factor that tipped the skills and was able to you know yield in Americano's return i think is the part of the international collaborative effort and i think that that phrase has not left my mind since i read it international collaborative effort because when the news first came out of his arrest that was what was used to describe um you know the actual or the you know added effort that was used to bring back in Abricano. so yeah um someone here says god help me relocate from this country i don't want my children to be a citizen of this country i want to breed um them outside nigeria oh lord okay someone here says it is clear he was abducted and kidnapped after a bounty of 100 millionaire was placed on his head very soon the truth shall be revealed um and to think that we i believe that 100 million is not a lot of money for this to happen but i guess but i guess it is ah it's so sad the integrity of man uh someone here says did kano enter kenya as a british citizen or, or a nigerian citizen honestly if kano is moving anywhere in the world i don't even know why he he would even use his nigerian passport to enter anywhere because it's like you're literally playing yourself but yeah put what you think about it so don't forget to like and subscribe